Big drama today, big drama today. Lots to talk about, Chad, lots to talk about. Yeah, so as far as the whole Raven situation goes, um, so he, he made that he made that whole uh, like 15 minute little statement, basically just based off of what I said about him on the Apex After Hours podcast that it was Fallout and Snipe Down. And basically they said that he, he fell off as a coach toward the end of our run together, which was true. But the way I worded it was kind of extreme. Like saying that he fell off made it seem worse than it was. Um, I definitely still, I would still, like, I still do think he fell off. I think we all fell off a bit. Maybe except Hal. Hal's maybe the only person that didn't fall off. Because Hal, Hal's, all, Hal's always been grinding. He's, Hal's never stopped, never stopped uh, playing this game eight hours a day. Like no, matter, no matter how big of a break we have, Hal's, Hal's always grinding. Always grinding. But I definitely think, I would definitely still, like, think that Raven was not putting in as much work towards the end. But none, none of us were. None of us were. Like, when, bro, when Raven first joined our team, I mean, I'm, ta I'm talking, like, he literally, like, basically played the game for us. He, like, he taught Hal macro from, like, the top down. Like, he literally, not only just macro, but he would, uh, he would, like, break down team fights for us. Like, break down our roles in team fights. Tell us exactly how we should play a fight out. Exactly which fights to take. Like, how to rotate around the map. He basically taught us how to play the game, like, entirely. Like, he literally completely changed our respect on the game. And, like, changed everything. But... I feel like after after like split two champs ish, I mean he definitely just wasn't was not like helping us prepare as much. It essentially came down to like his work was just pretty much like every week he would just tell us to try harder and during scrims and whatnot, whenever we made mistakes, he would try and say what we did wrong. And like that was that was like the extent of what he did. Pretty much since champs. There was no other like really preparation work. But I mean, me and Jordan were also super lazy after champs. We all we all, like, like I, I was not playing the game enough. I just didn't want to play the game as much. So Hal, Hal also made, Hal also talked about how, uh, Hal said that I wanted to quit the game after champs, or that I talked about, I thought about quitting the game after champs. I never, uh, I never told my team that I wanted to quit the game after champs. It was, it was, like, right in the middle of Pro League, where I was like, boys, like, I don't, I don't know if I want to keep playing, I'm thinking about quitting. I, I told Hal that, I told Hal that. I said, like, yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking about quitting the game. I literally just sent Hal a text, I was like, I was like, this is... This like this is kind of sucking right now. I'm having fun. It's, it's been miserable, and that was it. I didn't tell him that I was going to quit. I didn't tell him that I had, I had a planned date to quit. I just I was thinking about quitting the game. And Chad, I promise you, literally every single pro player that's ever played this game has thought about quitting a million times. Like think, look at how during split two, like we literally was yapping on stream about how he's about to quit the game when we almost didn't call, when we almost didn't make it to land. He was very close to quitting the game. He's very close. Every everyone's wanted to quit the game at some point. So I mean, obviously, I I have like bad days where I. After a day, like, bro, I'm just like, dang, this sucks. I want to quit. <laughs> and that, that happens all the time. But, like, until until I actually, like, take a set date to quit this game or actually quit, then I'm going to keep giving it my all. Definitely keep giving it my all. But, yeah, chat. I mean, chat. Playing, playing with house some days was miserable, chat. It was miserable. Like, it actually sucked. It was it was hard. It was definitely hard. And Raven, when we first picked up Raven, it helped things a lot. Like, Raven basically helped calm Hal down when we first picked up Raven. He, like, kind of tamed, tamed Hal quite a bit. But there came a point where he just stopped. He just stopped caring. Like Raymond was just like he was basically making us more pissed off at the end of the day. He was just it was getting mad. He was no longer like the therapist of the team. He was just he was just getting more pissed off. But uh, yeah, no playing playing with Hal sucks. It it, it does suck. And here's the thing. I, I, even if, even though it does suck, like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Like we're we're playing like it's a it's a business at the end of the day, and we're trying to win. That's the thing that matters. We're just trying our hardest to win. Like even if we don't enjoy playing with him, like even, even if he's unenjoyable to play with, doesn't matter. We're still trying to win, I, and I still should have kept putting in hours. But why it sucked? The worst, I mean, I, the worst part of playing with Hal was definitely just, you know, obviously, like, he would get super pissed off all the time, and he would say things that he, he didn't actually mean, like, quite often. He would just get super emotional. And it was the worst, it was probably the worst during, like, ranked sessions. That was, like, that's, like, one of the most unbearable, just playing ranked with him. I mean, Chad, I came to a point where me and Jordan literally, like, Chad, we've had, we've had countless, like, team conversations, me and Jordan, with Hal saying, like, how much we hate playing ranked with him because, like, he's just so annoying to play with. Like, it just sucks to play ranked with him. And we, we basically, like, tried our hardest to practice by any means possible not playing ranked with Hal. Back when ranked was, like, the only way to practice. It just su it sucked playing with him. It really did. It just sucked. But that definitely doesn't excuse me and Jordan to not play the game at all because we just got lazy and didn't play the game. We got complacent. Like, even even if we didn't have Hal's or IGL, me and Jordan might have got lazy regardless. You know, playing play with Hal sucks. It really does. It is not, it is not fun. But he, I mean, he grinds the game eight hours a day, and he's insanely good. And if you want to win, then he's your guy. How nice to be outside of the game. He definitely is. Yeah, he's, he's way nice outside of the game. Chad, here's the story. I think it was at, 
It was at Birmingham. It was, at, it was during Champs. It was during Champs where I made a mistake in one of the games. We played at Champs last year. It was a pretty simple mistake. I basically just like wasn't... I was anchoring a spot, and I still let a team walk up. And after the game was over, like we, me, me and Hal, I think uh, maybe his girlfriend was there and like minus her reps or something, like just a group of people getting dinner. And Hal just kept bringing that mistake up. Like he brought it up like 20 times, and he kept he kept bugging me about it. And I, I told him to stop or just like basically just like stop bringing it up. Like I get I get it, like I made a mistake. And he just kept doing it over and over again. Like he basically like he was acting in person like he like how he does online. I literally, I literally told him I was gonna punch him in the face if he didn't shut up. And then he shuts up for the next like he's like quiet for the next for the rest of the land. He's, like he's quiet for the next like the re- the rest of the tournament. Like he, he didn't like mess around anymore. And then we and then we win champs. <laughs> I literally told him, I literally told him I was gonna punch him in the face if he didn't shut up because he, he was acting the same way he does online. And I was so pissed off. I was so pissed off because he kept he kept bugging me about the same like this one mistake and he just brought it up over and over and over again. I was like, bro, you were annoying me so much. Like I'm on, I'm on the verge of just like fighting you. And it would probably take a, it would take a lot more for me to like actually like physically fight someone because I'd probably just, that'd probably just end my career instantly. But that's like that's like the natural urge you get. But chat, yeah, how was like he was annoying me, like he was just annoying the hell out of me in person that one day, and I was so pissed off. I was so mad. He was like, that was the one day he acted in person as he does online, and I was like, okay, bro, like we're not we're not playing the game right now. Like the the recurring the recurring pattern that we'd have with TSM with me, Hal, and Reps was like, Hal would progressively get more and more annoying. Like scream more, rage more, and then we have a, we'd have a team conversation saying like, "Bro, you were you were pissing us off. You're being so annoying." And then he would chill out for like a week, and then it would just, the cycle would just repeat again, and we have to have the same team conversation. Like it was just it was like unbearable. It was just it was horrible. But at the end of the day, if me and Jordan still really wanted to win, I mean, there's no excuse for us getting lazy at the champs. Same with Raven too. I mean, Raven definitely got lazy too. We all got lazy, probably except for Hal. Hal's probably the only one that kept working, working the same way he usually does. Hal's always been a grinder. I mean, he he, he puts in his eight hours no matter what. He is always going to be there. He's always gonna be like insane of the game. Let's play with them worth it. Definitely was. I mean, we won. We just had the best LGS year that'll probably ever happen. I mean, going first, second, first was definitely worth. It was worth the pain for sure. It was worth it. It's for sure worth it. Yeah, here's one thing. Here's one thing you need to know. What's up, Zero? You have to handle someone. Zero, you're doing a great job, buddy. You're doing a great job. And chat, here, here's another thing. Like when I first joined TSM, it was purely a business decision. I just thought at the end of the day, I thought I would just I would make more money, and that was the only reason I joined. Chat. I didn't. Even, I didn't even think. Our, I didn't even think joining TSM. I'd, I'd win more. I thought the team that I was on was better. Like I, I came from ESA with Duplex and Skittle Cakes, and I joined TSM purely for the viewership. That was the only reason why. Because it was, it was a more. It was a more like secure financial decision. And that was it. And ha- the thing is, when I joined them, they told me that. Like that. How that was like. That was like the way they convinced me to join. Because I was like, I was on the fence, right? I was on the fence, like between staying on ESA back in the day and joining Hal and Reps. And they're like, boys. They're like, bro. Like maybe, like, maybe your team's better right now, but we have way more viewership, and it's a, it's a better long term financial decision. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm going to make way more money on your team. And that was, that was the truth. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. But chat, pe- people forget, like, how, how, picked, how picked me up because their team was in, like, seventh place and our team was in first place. And if it weren't for their viewership, there was, there was no way I was going to join. That was the only reason why. I know, I know how I got mad that uh, I started playing the game more since he left, but it's, like, it's way easier to play the game when I know that I'm not playing with him. And that's just, that's just the truth. Like, it's just, he makes it, I mean, he, he makes it hard to play. He makes it hard to want to grind. That, that's, just, that's the truth. And I know I know Jordan's the same way. Jordan's the same way because it is it is hard to play with him. It really is. But he puts in the grind. He's an insane player, and he was definitely the best player on our team for like all of last year. Maybe except split two. He put in the most work, did the most. But yeah, it was just it was just miserable playing with him. Yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all it's all just it's all just drama. At the end of the day, and me and Howard, me and Howard's still gonna be boys. We still we still cuddle at night. Don't worry, Lucid. Or uh, yeah, no, the team the team change wasn't decided. That was based off land results. Or how how was gonna leave based off how he did? At least that's what he told us. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what Hal was thinking himself, but that's that's what he told us. He told us that he wasn't gonna leave if we if we played poorly. I see a lot of people in chat saying like, why didn't why didn't we bring this up with Hal? Like, why why did we like why didn't we say like how how much it sucks playing with him? And we have like multiple times, but that would require like a fundamental personality change, and that just it just never gonna happen. What else do you guys wanna know about chat? What else do you wanna know about? I need some I need some dramatic questions. This chat's gonna be way too quick. I can't read this. How gonna say when he sees this? I mean, he'll probably have he'll probably have a rebuttal, and there'll probably never be a, there'll probably never be a winner. It was it was just a drama farm at the end of the day. And yeah, chat like how how being the way he is, that's not an excuse for me and Jordan getting lazy at all. Like we we should have kept playing the game regardless. If we really wanted to win, since champs. Water boys, twenty one months.
No, I knew, like, all those things, like, all those things about what he said about, like, dealing with me and playing with me, like, I know about it. But when I try to confront him and, like, tell him about it, like, he would just lie to me and say it's not a, it's not about me, it's, like, blah, 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 like, I don't know. He, he was, like, just lying to my face saying it wasn't my, like, it wasn't me the entire time, even though it was and I felt like it was. Maybe because he just knew that I wouldn't be able to change or whatever. Which is, like, I guess fair, but I don't know. It's just fucking weird. It, I don't know. I don't know, like, what's the point. More so, I'm just getting mad. Just because I feel like he's just doing this for views. He's just doing this for views. And it kind of, like, like, I still... It's so weird because I fucking love him as a friend. But at the same time, it's, like, it's so fucking cringe. It's so fucking cringe. It's so fucking cringe. Like, I don't know, the, the, like, the whole drama is just, like, it's just so cringe because he just, it's just, like, for clicks. It's for clicks. And just, yeah, it's yeah just, everything, I, everything I said is true, by the way. Everything uh, I said is true. I didn't make up anything. I, I just, I don't know what to say. It's just weird. It's just kind of weird. But and that, Another thing, since we're being, all being honest, and, you know, I know Evan likes being honest. I know I like, I love being honest. I love being honest. Okay? So, Evan... I told this to Jordan months ago. I told this I told this to Jordan months ago. And I know people that have been you know watching for a while and they will agree with me as soon as I say this. And I hope it doesn't go down that path. I really hope it doesn't, but we'll see. You are turning out just like to be Mac. You and Mac are were are or were in the same exact fucking boat. The same wage you know, we were winning with Mac. We were winning with Mac, everything was fine, you know, Mac decided to resent me, and eventually couldn't handle my shit anymore, right? The same way that Evan, it's the same thing with Evan. Same thing. And I knew, I knew it was happening, this, the entire time. And I knew it was happening, because it happens every time. So, hopefully, you know, just like how Mac did, you know, he had to like leave the team, or we split up, or whatever. It doesn't go downhill, but... You and Mac are, were in the same exact boat when it came to like the attitude or like the, of handling the team and stuff like that. So, and I believe that like 100%. So, I'm not trying to like, um, I'm not say, I'm not trying to make Mac look bad. I'm just saying, I'm, make, I'm just comparing my very first teammate to Evan. Max it's catching a mirror. It's an absolute mirror. I just hope it doesn't go the same way. But we'll see. It's literally a fucking mirror. So, um, I don't know. The whole thing is just kind of weird. I don't even know why this is, like, public, but uh, I did not expect this. So, it is, I don't know. It is what it is. It's whatever. But hopefully Sunshine and Rainbows bring you first place, Evan, because apparently that's what you need. No, we talked about this off-stream. We did. We did talk about it off-stream. We did.